Okay. All right. That's good. All right. So, how do you find the inverse of any function that you've been given? So, if you have a function, let's say, for instance, you've been given uh, the first function there, which is h of x, then they are saying this is equal to the cube root of x minus 3. Then they ask you to find the inverse of this function. So the first thing that you do, you say let y be equal to the question that you've been given. And then in this solution now, your target will be to make x the subject of the formula. So how do you make the, uh, I mean, x the subject of the formula? First of all, let me write this x into a format that is going to be easy for us to uh, make it the subject. So this format is y is equal to, so x, I mean the cube root of x can also be written as x to the power one over three, and then we say minus three. So what you do here, you take this three to the other side of the equal sign, and this is going to be y plus three being equal to x to the power one over three. So now for me to get rid of this power one over three, I'm going to raise both the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Uh, I'm going to raise them by three. So we have y plus three, then you set to the power three, and this is equal to x raised one to the, to the power three, then everything raised to the power three. So when you multiply this and that, you're just getting x this side, and this other side you have y plus three to the power at, three. And after doing that, we have managed to make X the subject, and this is what we have found. So after finding this, the next step that you have to do is to write that in the format. Hence you say X, I mean, H inverse of X is therefore going to be equal to, while there is Y there, I'm going to put X, and this is going to be X plus three raised to the power three. So this is what we have. So from there, the next thing that you need to do, oh, sorry, this is the inverse. We've, we've just been asked to find the inverse. I thought there was another question that was supposed to be solved. Okay, so this is how you find H inverse of X. Let's see how we can find H inverse of X uh, for, for the next part, which is part B. So the question itself is H of X is equal to one over X minus two. And um, how do you find the inverse of the function of this function here? So first of all, like I said, we say let y be equal to one over x minus two. So I'm going to take this two to the other side of the equal sign because my aim is to make x the subject of the formula. So I'm going to have y plus two being equal to one over x. So from there, um, I have to make x the subject. I'm going to cross multiply. So when I do the cross multipl multiplication here, I'm going to have y plus two times x being equal to uh, one. So to make x the subject, I'm going to divide everything by y plus two, y plus two. So this and this cancels, just remaining with x. So x is therefore going to be equal to one over, we have y plus two. So this x is equal to that. So now what this means is that uh, we can write the final solution, which is uh, h inverse of x is therefore equal to one over, while there is y there, I'll just replace with x. So this would be x plus two. Okay, so this is the solution to this question. Okay, so this is the solution to this question. Okay, let's quickly look at the next question. So we have these two questions. Uh, we say, I mean, the question here says, let f and g be two functions, find f of g of x and find g of f of x, inverse of x. Okay, so this one is also a very simple question. Yeah, so this one is also a very simple question. 
Okay, so the first thing that we've been asked to find is f of g of x. So f of g of x, f of g of x is just the same as uh, saying in the function f, what is x, I'm going to put what? g of x. Yeah, so where there is uh, x in the function yeah. f, I'm going to put g of x. So in f there, so what I'm trying to say is that in f, while there's x, I'm going to put what? g of x. This is the simplest way you can uh, uh, understand this question. Then we say the square root of, so g of x has been given. g of x is 3x minus a 1. So while there's g of x there, I'm putting what? 3x minus 1. And then we say minus 2. So we simplify this and then we have 3x minus 1 minus 2, meaning um, f of g of x there. So meaning the, the function here, when you simplify it, it's going to become uh, the square root of 3x minus 3. So this is what you're going to get as the solution. As uh, Okay, so this is the solution for f of g of x. But there is also this other part which is asking us to find g of f inverse of x. So let us find that. So this one, g of f of x is, I mean, this is the question. But before we find this, we're just, uh, we first have to find a g of f of x. So g of f of x simply means that in g, while there's x, I'm going to put what? f of x. So in G, where well, is X, I'm going to put F of X. So I'm going to say um, three times, um, where well, is X, I'm putting what? F of X, three times F of X, then minus one. So what is F of X there? I know what to put there. It's simply just the square root of X minus two. Then I have minus one there. But it's asking us to find the inverse of this function. So how do you find the inverse? Remember what I told you, you first, let, you first say let uh, y be equal to the function. So after doing this, we make x the subject to the formula. So making x the subject to the formula, you're going to have y plus 1 being equal to 3, the root of x minus 2. So we divide both sides by 3. And the answer will be the root of x minus two being equal to y plus one over three. So from there, what you can do is to just square both sides. When you square this side, you also square this side to get rid of this square root. You're going to have x being, equal, oh sorry, x minus two being equal to y plus uh, one over three squared. So just take this to, to the other side of the equal sign so that we have x being equal to y plus one over three minus, uh, sorry, this would be now plus. So from there, you can now uh, find the final answer, which is um, uh, g of f of x, g of f inverse of x. So this one is just found by replacing what is y there with x. So we say x plus one over three plus two. So this is how simple these questions are. This is what, what you're supposed to do to solve uh, this question. Okay. So let's quickly move on to the next part. We do the same, we go through the same procedure. All right, so f of x has been given and g of x has also been given. Okay, so let's see what we can do. So the first one, the, the first question here is to find f of g of x. So f of g of x, like I said, simply means in f, uh, where there's x, I'm going to put what? g of x. So in f, my f here is uh, one over 
x minus one. So we say one over, what is x I'm putting what? Uh, G of x, so I'm having two over x there. Then you say minus one. So if you want, you can simplify this further by finding the common denominator and you have something like this, two minus x over x. So after having this, you can write this, I mean, you can simplify this further by having one, uh, sorry. You can simplify this further and this is going to give you um, x over two minus x. So this is the first part of the question. So now to find the second part of the question, we need first to find what g of f of x is. And then after finding that, um, then we can find g of f of x inverse. Okay, so let us quickly do that. So g of f of x is simply just uh, the same as saying in g, what is x, we're putting what? f of x. And what this means is that um, in g, we say two over, what is x I'm putting f of x, meaning I'm going to put one over x minus one there. So this can be further simplified and this can be written as two open brackets x minus one. So yeah, so this is what it means. So from there, the other thing that we can do here, we can simplify this further and this will become two x minus two. So this is our g of f of x. So now we're just remaining with finding the inverse of this same function. So the inverse of this function, like I said, we first say let uh, y be equal to the function that you have, which is two x minus two. So here it's just a matter of making x the subject of the formula. So making x the subject of the formula, we first take this two to the other side of the equal sign so that we have y plus two being equal to two x. Then from there, I'm going to divide both sides by two. So if I divide both sides by two, I'm going to have the value of x as y plus two over two. So now to write the final answer, we say g of f inverse of x is therefore going to be equal to, what is y there? We put x, so we have x plus two, everything divided by two. All right, so this is exactly what you're supposed to do. Do you have any questions about finding the inverse of a function? No, this one is very much clear. All right, okay, so I think let's meet in the next uh, lesson. I don't know when that is, should be Friday or Saturday. Yeah, so we're going to meet and discuss what to be, what we're going to leave, I mean, what we have left, but uh, I think tomorrow I'm having free time and I may solve the whole tutorial sheet and, and post the solutions to the group. All right, thank you very much. See you in the next lesson. All right, thank you.